Tonight, we bring you new information in our ongoing childhood poverty investigation into redlining. That is the historic practice of keeping African Americans and other minorities from buying property in certain areas. Local 12's James Pilcher has obtained maps created by the federal government that began redlining in our region. But tonight, we discover redlining occurred for reasons other than race in northern Kentucky. Here's the map for northern Kentucky. As you can see, most of the riverfront is red. The federal agency creating the maps gave D grades to so-called hazardous areas, shaded red. The best areas were given an A grade, shaded green. Several small pockets spread throughout the region received that grade. The region's red line history is complicated. The redlined areas were indeed hazardous at the time due to major flooding. Also, relatively few African Americans lived in the region at the time. The map was also drawn before the historic 1937 flood. That led to major improvements and regulations regarding flood safety on both sides of the river. But the correspondence from federal agent Sam Cook, who created the map, shows he didn't spend much time in northern Kentucky. He used a map tacked to a wall in a Newport real estate office as the basis for his outline. Yet he consulted with state officials in Frankfurt on the boundaries instead of interviewing local lenders. Cook wrote his boss, I think with the information I can get at Frankfurt, I will be able to show a fairly complete picture of all of them. Georgia Tech history professor Todd Mishney uncovered those documents. They don't include any racist descriptions of individual regions like researchers found for other cities like Hamilton, Ohio. It's striking that he's not even looking on the ground, uh, you know, in the, in the area. Red Zone downtown Covington changed dramatically through the years with the creation of the IRS processing center there. Northwestern Newport has also been transformed with the Ovation site. Public housing still exists there. Online real estate company Zillow estimates current home values for Northern Kentucky green regions at more than $277,000. Homes in formerly red zoned areas are worth about $165,000. It's definitely something that, that shows, you know, um, the, the green zoned areas were really, you know, very, had very different out economic outcomes than, than any other part of this, this area. Covington Mayor Joe Meyer declined an interview, but in a statement said redlining was real and wrong. Quote, we may never fully understand the many ways which federal housing regulations shaped our city, but they did shape our city. In Covington, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. You can read all of our redlining stories at our special website, childhoodpoverty.com.